back to Kim Pins. Today on Kim Pins, we are baking. But before we do that, cup of the day. We actually have one of Jordan's cups today. Darth Vader, from, as you all know, watching The Mandalorian. So, uh, I don't know if, is Vader dead? By the, I think Vader's dead by the Mandalorian. Anyway, uh, Darth Vader cup, he's got a whole set of Star Wars cup, which is fun. Um, <laughs> they are apparently filming the Obi-Wan series in Boston, and there was a great Twitter thread that was just like, Star Wars stuff in a Boston accent, so Darth Vader! That's why I picked this one, so I could do that for you guys. So what are we doing today? Well, uh, let me tell you all a little story about my cookie press. I got this cookie press several years ago for Christmas, and I have never used it. So today, we're doing some spritz cookies. Um, I picked a recipe that is almond. I have all my stuff here laid out. So, let's just get to it, yeah? Uh, your first step is to take your butter. This is a cup of butter, two-thirds of a cup of sugar, and to cream those together until fluffy. I'm going to try my hand mixer today. I haven't used this in years, but I didn't feel like dragging out my full-on mixer. So, and it just, it feels like you don't need it for this recipe. But it does kind of feel like, ooh, I hope my butter is softened enough. Ah! I think my butter might not have been softened enough. Oh, good lord. I got sugar everywhere. Um... So we might need a deeper bowl for this, honestly. But you want to cream your butter and sugar together. Yeah, yeah, just deeper bowl. Pro tip, deeper bowl. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and say that's pretty well creamed. My arm is tired from holding this. Now I remember why I don't do a hand mixer. Next time I tell myself, I hey, just use the hand mixer, Kim. So there's our butter and sugar creamed together. Um, I've gotten rid of the hand mixer. I'm pretty sure I can do the rest of this uh, by actual hand, um, which is what I'm gonna what I'm gonna go with. So we want to put in our extracts and our eggs. So we've got vanilla and almond extract in here, uh, half a teaspoon of each. I threw in a little extra almond ex extract because y'all know how I feel about the almond extract, and I want a drop of that. And my one egg, we're just gonna combine. Scrape down the sides while I'm at it. Hmm, it smells very almondy. Okay, not totally combined, but we'll do that in the next step when we add the flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yes. <laughs> There's a half second there where I thought I might have grabbed a quarter tablespoon, but I didn't. And then this is two cups of flour. This is this is a messy one to put together, but I think that's partially the bowl I picked. Okay, so that feels pretty well mixed to me. It says don't over mix. Um, so now I'm going to fill my cookie press. Everything's okay. So I'm going to start with my Christmas tree because tis the season, you know. I don't really know how I'm supposed to fill this either, so I'm just going to shove it on in. I've seen people use cookie presses before, so I think I, think I got this. Let's put our Christmas tree on this side out. And it says to uh, not use parchment paper. So I've got my cookie tray, and I'm gonna just throw some Christmas trees on here. Oh, it worked. I don't know how much these are gonna spread. Probably should have looked into that and spaced these appropriately. Cause I'm just totally randomly putting them on the sheet here. Okay, there's one sheet of Christmas trees. Switch this out for another style. I'm gonna try this little circle guy. How oh, cute, they're little circles, flowers, I don't know. Now I don't know from experience, but my guess is gonna be, you probably wanna bake the same style on the same cookie sheet because cook time. Perfect, I think. Okay, so we've got our two sheets of cookies here. Uh, the recipe says to let these sit in the fridge for 10 minutes so it'll help them hold their shape as they bake. Which leads me to believe that these are going to expand. We'll see, right? Uh, we'll see together. So I'm going to let them sit for 10 minutes and then bake 7 to 9 minutes and we'll be back to see the baked cookie. Okie dokie. Well, these were in the oven for 8 minutes. I let them cool a little bit and then took them off the pan. They released from the pan pretty well. Uh, and yeah, I guess 
All that's left to do now is to ask ourselves, are these any good? And the only way to answer that question is to actually try them. So I'm going to go for a Christmas tree. These are pretty good. Very almondy. Try one of these circle ones. Great cookie for Santa coming tonight. Um, I wanted to do this. Obviously Christmas cookies. I wanted to do that in December because it's December and Christmas. But I wanted to do these in particular on Christmas Eve because a lot of us probably have these things in our pantry. Flour, butter, sugar, vanilla extract. So the almond extract you don't have to have. Um, you could just do these as vanilla flavored and then some salt. So if you have a cookie press and you're like, well, sugar, I didn't get any cookies for Santa. Highly recommend. Um, I feel like you could even do this cookie without the cookie press. Like if you just, have, it's a pretty simple dough. So that's why I wanted to do that for you all today. Um, Santa will be eating these at my house. And yeah, you can also, you can decorate them with sprinkles. There's lots of fun ideas. Um, we'll be doing some of these with our stepdaughter. We're gonna throw some frosting on it because why not? Uh, Cause she likes frosting. So yeah. That is my Christmas cookie for you all on Christmas Eve. I hope you have a very happy Christmas Eve and a very Merry Christmas for you all tomorrow. Uh, be safe out there. I know it's hard not to get together with family, but just do, do the right thing, do the smart thing, be safe. Um, eat some Christmas cookies on your own. Go reference my top 10 Christmas movies if you need a recommendation on what to watch. Uh, and drink some eggnog. I'm gonna be drinking eggnog. That's one of my favorite parts of Christmas Eve. Um, so yeah, enjoy, make some cookies, and have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next week for our last video of 2020. Thank you for watching. Bye!